Okay, for this problem, we're going to use the chemical reaction on the board here. We have uh, sodium bicarbonate. This is basically baking soda, and it's combining with hydrochloric acid. This is very similar to the acid that's in your stomach, actually. And what's going to happen if anybody has mixed baking soda with an acid is you'll notice that it uh, bubbles and produces a gas. The gas that's produced is the carbon dioxide here. That's labeled as a gas. We also have some water as a liquid that comes out of this reaction, and we have sodium chloride in an aqueous solution, so it's dissolved in the water that's produced. So we have this reaction. We have two guys on the left, three guys on the right, and we ask the following questions. Uh, if 175 milliliters of 1.55 molar sodium bicarbonate, that's the NaHCO3, if we add that much of it, uh, the 175 milliliters of sodium bicarbonate, if we add that to 235 milliliters of 1.22 molar hydrochloric acid, then we ask the following questions. How many grams of carbon dioxide is liberated? That's part one. Part two, what is the molarity of the sodium chloride aqueous solution? In other words, what's the concentration of that solution that's produced? So we have two parts. But ultimately, when you boil it down, we start with a known quantity of this, and we start with a known quantity of this, and really what we're trying to do first in the first part is find out how much of this is produced. So from a big picture point of view, it's the same format of everything else. We've, we're given what we start with, and we calculate what we end up with and how much of it. Um, the only real kicker is that it, we're, we have the molarities and the concentrations and the volume. So instead of just saying, here's how many moles you start with, we're given the volume and the molarity. And then and same thing for the, for the other case as well. For both of these reactants, we're given the volume and the molarity that we mix together. Um, but also notice that in this problem, we don't say we have an excess of anything. We don't say, oh, you're mixing it with an excess of hydrochloric acid. So really, it boils down to that limiting reactant thing. Since we are mixing two quantities together and we don't really know if one of them is an excess or not, then we don't really know which of these two reactants, because we mix different volumes of them, we don't know which of them is actually going to stop the reaction first. So we're kind of combining our knowledge of limiting reactants with the solution stoichiometry that we're doing here. So we need to do two calculations. We need to assume that this is the limiting reactant, and then we'll calculate how much product we get. And then we need to also calculate separately, separately that we start with this as a limiting reactant, and then we calculate product over here. And then we're going to look at the numbers and calculate which one's the limiting reactant and what really happens by basically taking a look at it. So we need to do those two calculations. So again, we're kind of combining two sort of concepts here uh, from what we've done before. Now. What we're going to know or look at is the problem actually has how many grams of carbon dioxide. So we don't want to know moles, we want to know grams. So we know that at some point we're going to need to know the mass of carbon dioxide. So let's find that right now. The carbon is 12.011. The oxygen is 15.99 grams per mole. So if we add these two things together here, what we're going to get is 43.99 grams per mole. All right, so we're just doing that as sort of a side calculation. All right, let's do the limiting reactant calculation. We, we know we, we, we're going to start with this guy and make an assumption that he is the limiting reactant, and then we'll do the same thing for the other guy. So we'll say assume that the NaHCO3 is the limiting reactant. So let's start with this first. So what do we have? We're told in the problem that 175 milliliters is what we have. 175 milliliters of what? Of NaHCO3 solution. 